Let me first explain why we have decided to raise taxes. This is not an option that we have taken lightly. Not just because raising taxes is unpopular, but because the government should, as far as possible, avoid taking people's hard-earned money and deciding on their behalf how the money should be spent unless it has to do so for critical social, economic or national needs. Certainly, we should not shy away from addressing the need for taxes where we see areas of collective needs that can be better met by government provision. This include, er, include areas like healthcare, supporting the elderly and retirees, investing in our people through preschools and skills future, and strengthening our security. As Mr. Liang Yinghua reminded us, many members in this house have fought for the government to do more in these areas. But we should also consider the costs and how to fund them. Looking ahead, we have needs that occur year after year. The responsible way for us to fund such spending is to raise taxes. As engineer Dr. Li Bi Hua pithily reminded us, you don't fund recurrent spending needs by hoping to strike 4D or by borrowing with your credit card. Each generation should strive to pay for its own spending through sustainable means instead of drawing down more than is prudent from the reserves or by borrowing and passing on the cost of current spending to future generations. In particular, for the broad-based needs that I've mentioned, a broad-based tax like the GST is appropriate. As then Minister for Trade and Industry, Mr. S. Danabalan, said at the debates on the GST bill back in 1993, it is critical to have, I quote, a tax system that will make an immediate and direct connection between the demands for public service and the private purse, unquote. This is important so that we understand that whenever we increase demands for public services, we should also pay more. 